Okay, so welcome back and uh, let me just uh, refresh this so um, waiting gram because I didn't write it so clear height in centimeters like this height in centimeters uh, waiting gram um, we can do it like this no millimeters no mm uh, and gram no mg I think called milligram well, I wouldn't be using that anyway okay um, so only whole numbers for the integers that's like extremely important otherwise you have big system crashes and yeah so integer is only with whole numbers um, I'll probably repeat that a hundred times um, so yeah so here we have uh, yeah let's go on with the the baby class so now we have let's just stick to this I mean we could go on with what does a baby have I mean uh, yeah that eye color, then there's hair color, skin color, um, height, weight, what more? Could be anything, behavior, anything. But we'll just stick to these four because it's kind of uh, that's kind of enough, I think. Um, now we'll create a constructor, uh, and let me just check my notes because I remember that I should say something important, but I. Got what it is. So, these are my notes, and uh, don't worry about them. They're just confusing. Maybe we should have them on our screen. But um, let's just see. I mean, constructor with input constructors run. Yeah, the constructor we are now creating is run one time only. I think I can actually figure it out. That's not so much. So now we are creating the constructor. Let me comment it. Um, mm, we will create a constructor, or the constructor, uh, because I think it can only have one. We create the constructor for the baby, maybe big one, baby class. And um, okay, so and uh, the big the constructor should be named the same as the class that is very important let me see now I don't have it in my notes how it's great I hope I can remember exactly how Java is still it's uh, I can get a bit tough to remember um, okay so um, public this time is public uh, don't ask why public this is big maybe class uh, like this will work. So here we have our constructor, which is public baby class. It's called the same as the class. So the computer, Java, our best friend by now, knows that uh, it's a constructor. And uh, what will the constructor do? And this is where my note says that I should mention something. So let me just write it like this. Let's be there. Um, oops, text. I guess. Okay. Um, public baby class the constructor constructor is run past time of run run ran run I think run is run once big it's run once um it's run once ah my English is crap sorry about that uh run once I think the constructors run once um and so so um so whatever will be just do like this so again i can do it i like that uh so from here first open no first curly bracket to the last curly bracket this is where the uh the constructor uh has its information so whatever we create whatever lines of code we create here will be run only once when the object is created uh, let me just, I can write it in comment form, like this, that's better. So, um, again, big, the constructor is run once, run, ah, run once, ah, don't, don't worry about that, my English is crap. The constructor is run once, um, when 
whenever an object is created. Like this. So it runs once whenever an object is created. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So the code we'll have in the constructor. Um, what we want to do whenever we create an object, we want to give uh, information to the constructor uh, about the specific things about our object. So in the case of the um, of the baby, the specific things would be um, the name. I mean, we can create babies, but they they need individual names, so they're created from the same class. Uh, but they should we should be able to distinguish the babies apart, even if they were twins and everything else would be identical, we would still give them different names. Um, so this constructor should create uh, an individual name for the baby object that's created from uh, this class. And uh, yeah, bear with bear with me. The theory is uh, confusing and a bit complicated, but. We'll just uh, create it and see what happens. Uh, so, so, uh, yep. So, what information do we need? Four inputs when we create our baby: uh, the name, the eye color, the height, and the weight, because that's what we defined. Um, so, let's take in these. So, um, string name. And and I'll do like this uh, because I just thought uh, okay string name in and uh, string i color in and uh, the reason for the in is just to uh, in the beginning we we'll name it like this so we know that this is input into the constructor uh, so eventually we wouldn't write it like that but for now we'll do and uh, i color in now we'll find integer and uh, height in and now another integer and weight in so so far so good and uh, ah, it doesn't it doesn't really uh, it likes it there's no error messages or anything um, okay so and now we want to dis to assign the input to the variables up in the top. So what we want to do, and let me uh, just draw this. I can draw arrows. Yeah. So for the string name, uh, let me just do like this. Um, name in. So this is what we want to do. So name in should go to name, and uh, eye color in should go to eye color, and height in should go to height, and weight should go to Oh wait. So this is what we want. Um yeah. And how do we do that? Well, in this case, the way I, I named it, we can just write uh the variable equals. So I would write name equals name n and then end with the uh, semicolon. So, and now I can actually highlight it to, to make it more clear that there's a connection. So I press name. See, they're connected. They are both um, marked or highlighted, whatever you want to call it. And the name in is also there. See? So, um, and let's move on. So this is, uh, this is the input um, that's assigned to the, what, to the, Attributes are the variables of the baby class. So um, let me come out. So the next should be uh, i color equals i color in, and for the next one, height in equals uh, sorry, height equals height in, um, and weight equals weight in. So far, so good. So, um, yeah, this is actually uh, this is brilliant. So now, when we create our baby objects, which we will be doing uh, maybe in the next video, I think it's better we do it in the next video. Uh, we'll be sh I'll be showing you how to put the information, how to uh, yeah, how it will <laughs> what do you call it? how the connection will be. Um, 
uh, because we'll be creating the baby optics in the main class and then uh, when we create them we will take this this input so um, we'll be demanding this input so uh, I think this is enough for now um, alright yeah let's stop the video see you in the next one